the data scientist is another persona that takes advantage of, of Qbol and the simplicity simplicity of okay. accessing the data lake via Qbol. Um, in particular, the data scientist will likely leverage the notebook feature. I've got uh, a number of notebooks here. And actually, there's a before I jump into it, there's there's two different ways you can use notebooks in Qbol. There's the the uh, original Qbol notebooks, which are based on Apache Zeppelin. And then we now support uh, Jupyter integration as well. Uh, Jupyter out-of-the-box notebooks, I'll, I can show you both of those. But um, carrying along sort of the same uh, story that we've been working with, with the e-commerce insights. Uh, let's say, you know, we've done the analysis and we've shown you how an analyst might look at this. If I'm a data scientist, you know, I'm using notebooks got some paragraphs here and I can actually rerun this and, and, and show you that it'll actually you know basically doing the same thing you know what's really important to a data scientist typically is not only having access to something like a notebook interface but the reason that's important is that it gives them a, a number of things and one of those things is the ability to, to leverage a mix of, of interfaces or languages in this case you know I'm using um, I'm using PySpark right, which is Python, but within my Python, I've got SQL embedded, um, and that allows me to run queries uh, against the data sets uh, and explore the data. I, again, and this is the same example, I think this is the, uh, yeah, top 10 order, uh, top 10 products by, by quantity ordered. I might look at raw data. So in this particular table, the access logs table, uh, this is log data. It's, it's a little bit uh, less structured. So I can see here I've got a query that, that gives me the ability to break this down by views. I might parse that URL and pick out the actual product and make that you know, a little bit more presentable. But, uh, you know, cut some corners here for this demo. Um, and here's an example where I'm using uh, Scala, right? So I had Python. I had SQL. Uh, I've got some Scala in here. And, and what I'm doing with this is... I'm actually um, <clears throat> using the machine learning library FP Growth, which is built into Spark. Um, this is a frequency pattern matching uh, library. What it allows, what I'm doing in this particular paragraph is I'm building a model and I'm actually running the model against my data set. Um, and this model, uh, this, this frequency matching uh, model will allow me to then do things like uh, market basket analysis. I can, I can do things like what are the common combinations of, of products that are bought together. Uh, so I'll let, this, I'll let this particular model run. It takes about 30, 40 seconds to execute. Oh, it's a little bit faster this time. And then I can take the outputted uh, 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 data frame or, or object that I put together where I collected all this information. And then I can start to sort this um, you know, by, by the number of times they're bought together. As you can see, I've got two product combinations. And then I've got another one which shows three product combinations. But again, the idea is really to show you as a data scientist the different types of things I can use Qbol for. So not only, again, do I have access to SQL, I have access to Spark uh, on, using Scala as well as Python. I can do machine learning um, as you've seen here. Uh, finally, the other thing I might do is I might publish some of the stuff so that uh, a business user um, can you know, just run it and try to you know, view what's, what's happening uh, via a dashboard. So Qbol allows me to take this uh, notebook. I can create a dashboard out of it. I've actually got one here. The dashboard, as you can see, will, will effectively drop all of the code or hide all of the code so that a user, a business user, can actually execute those paragraphs um, without having to worry about the code. And uh, again, this, this is a dashboard feature can be published as an output of the data scientist's uh, um, you know, work. Uh, 